Now let's go to Unity and set up Google Analytics. Open Unity and in the uh, package that we added under the plugins Google Analytics V4, you will see the GA V4 prefab. Now, if you are watching these video lectures in the future, you might have a GA V5 or a different name, but make sure you locate the only prefab that you see here. What I want you to do is drag and drop this prefab within your app. Okay, you see the plus sign? Just drop it. It doesn't have to be within your scene, it could be outside of it, it's fine. As long as you see it now in the hierarchy. And now, this is the very important step that you need to do. Under the inspector of this prefab, you will see a bunch of settings and that's what you need to enter here. All right, so first of all, let's, um, you can see that you need two tracking IDs, one for Android and one for iOS. Now you could put the same one if you want to, so that you don't differentiate Android and iOS, but I would advise you to have two different ones. Now, where are these tracking codes? If you go back to your Google Analytics dashboard, you will see that you have properties here. Right now we only have one, but you see the UAID here and that's what you need. So just click on this one and go to property settings and you will see your UA tracking ID here. So copy this one, right click copy and go back to Unity and paste it under the Android version. All right. Now you need one for iOS. So what I would advise you to do is under the property name, write Captain Rocket Pro and then Android. All right, so that you know that this is for the Android version and click on save. All right, now go back to the admin or what you could do is just right here on the property, create a new property. So there's two ways to do that. You can go to properties here and create a new property or in the dashboard, you can just click here and do create a new property. And now what we're going to do is the same thing as what we just did earlier, but this time we're going to add the iOS version. So give it a name, Captain, Captain Rocket App iOS. Okay, and then select the industry. You guys should already be familiar with this process and the time zone and get tracking ID. All right, and here goes your tracking ID. So right click and do copy. Now go back to Unity and paste it below. All right. Now there's other tracking codes. We don't need that right now. That's only if you somehow you want to use a different version, let's say a Windows phone or um, any other type of, uh, of, um, of device. You can still use it here within Unity, but this software and this package is specifically made for Android and iOS. All right. Now the bundle identifier is your game identifier. Now, if you do not have one right now, that's not a big deal. You actually don't have to write it down here. Um, all of these are just, um, you don't, we don't really need any of these. These are just op optional, they're not required. The most important one are the Android tracking code and the iOS tracking code. All right. Now, before being finished, make sure you click on apply. Very important. All right, so that it goes back to your prefab. All right, so at this point, we have the main setup for Google Analytics within Unity.